Hi, today is April 14th, 2020, and I'm looking at the GOP and how it's going to, when are, asking when are they finally going to uh, realize and let go, when are they going to abandon Trump, basically. And what I get down here is they are stuck with, well, overall, they are stuck with him okay they are stuck with him they can't just shake him off this is them at the current time now and he's become a headache he has become a, a really they're very stressed out by their little monster um and there's going to be, I feel like, infighting in and amongst the GOP about how, what to do, how to handle him, how to deal with this, how to salvage their party, because they don't want to go down with the ship, which is Trumpy. They feel kind of stuck with the monster they, they helped to create. And legally... I think heads will roll. I don't think that, and I, I feel like this is the law, uh, investigative energy to me coming in and saying, okay, how did you benefit? Why did you uh, work with Trump? What was all of this? And I think they will be investigated for their relationships with Trump. That will be looked at. Justice is coming for the GOP. They're going to... They are going... Oh, I think they are also going to come to a decision. There will be infighting. I feel like this is our getting... News or information coming out. And it would look to me like they're a decision to uh, I think that there's going to be legal pursuit of some of the GOP that oh, some of the GOP those that have something to worry about they're stuck um, they can't wash him off But there's infighting. So they kind of like start eating their own, I think. And I think that then we will get news of their, I think, moving on from him, um, they're not going to be in support of him. Hmm, or are they? They might just say that, well, we're stuck, we've got to just try to hold on to this lie. But there's the law. I feel like there's also investigation into people that are GOP. That's when things for them start also when the law starts more aggressively pursuing Trump, there's there's going to be some, I think, also decision amongst them. But I think when they start looking at their own stuff being potentially investigated, they're going to start to panic. Or there's something about a particular investigation that's going to cause them to panic. I just feel like they're going to be investigated. And the kind of stuck with them is the message. And I feel like they're infighting among themselves. They're trying, it's for survival. They're trying to, to somehow manage to survive. And they know that they will know 
that this is the this is the end, um, and that they're just kind of st stuck. They're sunk. Although I doubt that's quite the word they're going to want to use. Fucked might be a better one. Okay, and there's memories here. Regarding the public. I just think that they're going to have their yeah, their ruthlessness and their greed is just going to sink them. It's, it's, you know, it's just going to be very apparent. So I think, I think that they're going to just start to, to cower and just, but also I think that they will remain, unfortunately, stupidly, feeling like at this point they're not some of them will go down with him in denial because they just feel like it, then they'd have to admit to too much but some I think will probably capitulate especially with it, their being investigated and they're realizing this is it this is over um, let's just take another look GOP when do they really start to abandon him? I think they just realize that they're really screwed. Um, but especially the people that have been vocal, uh, like Lindsey Graham and Mitch McConnell and them, they're going to—they're they're damned by their own behavior. I, I, they're just going to be. Looks to me like caught out. They're going to be very desperate. Okay. Two cups. Very close association partnerships. Greed. That's information. Could also be electronic information. That means emails, um, digital information, such as a accounts. Somebody talking. Some of them might cooperate because they're trying to save their hide. Just, and I mean, they know they're not going to come out well from this, but actually I think, hmm, change my I think this is some of them will decide to cooperate and and talk. This is that I, I do. I think some of them will say um, about the plans, the details, what they were working on. Uh, And how lazy, something here about how lazy Trump is. Yeah, no kidding shit. Um, but also, I think they're trying to have, main, they're trying to maintain some scrap of having some kind of life left after this. So I think some will cooperate, some more than others. And I believe that, uh, especially with regarding the uh, COVID virus issues here and his stubborn nature of, of wanting just to keep the money machine going. So, because this is like the the wealthy business person, actually. The Nine of Cups is a, is a merchant that's very wealthy. Um, and 
as you can see, you can look at it, you can see greed, you can look at it if it's on something else, and you can see, okay, relaxation, enjoying what one has. In this case, we're looking at greed. Judgment. Judgment comes. Yep. And it is <laughs> going to cover a lot that's affected so many people, families, women, they're just, just know that the GOP ain't going to get away with this stuff, apparently. And I see women, powerful women in government, putting them through the coming after them. Coming after, not letting them off the hook. That's what that feels like. Yep, they want justice. Yes. Food. And for them to face uh, and bring these people to justice in the GOP. So that's what that looks like. So there you go. And I'll see you in the next video.